and intensify it on day five. I figured that you've been at my midway point now with the less than 20 minute videos. We are stepping up a little bit, stepping up, up the notch, I mean, that you've done through hopefully the 10 videos of the less than 10 minutes or around 10 minute series that we are ready to jump to this phase of the workout. So it is a workout, like I alluded, and we will sweat maybe in this less than 20 minute video. Get yourself comfortable, have your blocks nearby in case you need to modify at any time. Please feel free to follow every pose with the breath and get yourself to a position that you feel comfortable. If you need to modify, please modify as needed. Without further ado, welcome back and welcome home to your mat. Let's meet at the top of the mat at this time. Hopefully you have a nice view wherever that you are. You can enjoy my view. Um, I often can't open this window as well or as much, but this time I can, so hopefully you can see some of it. Let's start by grounding ourselves first. Feeling the ground. Really identifying what parts of your body really need the attention. Or what parts need more or less. Taking a deep inhalation and exhale. Hmm. You can make your exhalation audible. I encourage that. Just releasing and letting go. On your next inhale, roll your shoulder up and then back as you exhale. Keep on going. spine and core throughout this flow. Good. Shake up your arms, wiggle your toes and legs, loosening everything up. And now it's inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold down. Plant your hands beside your feet and jump on back for high plank. Ooh, I'm already puffing. <laughs> and let's stay in high plank for a little bit. Those of you who have crackable joints, <laughs> like myself, you can start to walk out on your plank to deepening those ankle stretches really feel your toes cracking too at times. When you're ready, look straight ahead. Chaturanga. Now inhale, up dog. We're jumping straight to up dog rather than cobra. And exhaling downward, facing dog. First down dog here. Walk it out a little bit. Steadily. Before we speed things up, <laughs> we'll be jumping forward in between your hands. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale all the way back up. And exhale, fold. Jump, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. We do. Four more rounds of this. Jump. This is number four. Three. Remember, 
guard your breath with every move.
today. We're going to do both kinds of cow poses. And exhaling, you can lean side to side. Feeling that massage of your forehead. Feels nice. So, you might say enough on all fours now, and that is enough. We will be leaning on our backs. Let's get your stuff all the way to see the precision first. And then in, inhale, and exhale, one vertebrae at a time, all the way down onto your back, stretching out your legs. Excellent. Arms overhead, arms by your side, however that you're comfortable. You just want to give a nice stretch, rolling out your ankles. Good. Now we're going to be adding some core while we're down here. One of my favorite ones to do 20 a day during my practice on a daily basis is the kicking the ceiling or the pelvic tilt or however that any instructors out there have named it differently. But I'll just call it for tonight or today kicking ceiling. You're really working your lower abdominals in this pose. In this pose, you want to inhale when you go down, like when you're on the ground, and you exhale as you kick up to the sky. So inhale, then exhale. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8,
little bit of a butterfly pose, stretching out the groin muscle. Excellent. And why not? Let's just end with 40 push-ups, but we'll be breaking it up to 20 and 20. So, no surprises. We're going to be getting up, jumping back, Give me 20.